How's it going guys? Welcome back to part 4 of Haunted Memories. A few things have changed. First, I have raised the volume of the game audio. Second, I have taken precautions with my own microphone, which is a cheap like $50 microphone, to avoid it getting blown out. Now you will, uh, during these intros and outro periods, hear a slight hum in the background. Um, Everyone that uses the blue ball microphone seems to report that kind of just static in the background and they can't really do much about it. Um, so uh, I, I, I don't think it's that much and it should definitely be to the point where during the uh, gameplay you don't really notice it because it's the, still the same exact microphone that it has been. So um, if you weren't noticing static before you shouldn't notice it now. Anyways, um, third change is uh, I am starting to keep a timer so that we all play through it together. I don't play an hour's worth, then come back, chunk it up into about 20 minute segments, and then have to uh, remember which part I cut it off at. I know what's coming while you guys don't, that type of stuff. I really wanted it to be more of a, you know, uh, all of us experiencing it together. Um, so... Uh, those are the changes that I've made. I'm going to continue making those changes. Uh, and I'm also going to take this chance to say that I have a Twitch account that is actively being worked on. Um, I just added notifications so that uh, if you were to start following the channel or uh, subscribe slash donate at future times, um, while we are streaming, it will pop up and everyone can see that you did follow, subscribe, or donate. Uh, so, that is stuff that's coming in the future, plus I'm doing all sorts of stuff with a bot scripting so that there's events, we're going to have bank heists, horse races, you're going to earn points from, uh, from having watched videos you at different rates whether you're a subscriber or just a regular viewer uh, you know all that stuff so um, with that uh, I'm gonna stop that was my pitch for the day hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do let's get into it we're gonna try and get up to the top of the mountain and find out what's up there now I think I might be going YOLO here and just running past the uh, headless bitch. So we'll try that out, see if we make it through, see if she chases us all the way around. If she does, that's not exactly a positive thing. So let's get to it. Also, I have decided that I am tired of walking everywhere. We're gonna start running. Slendy hasn't caused any trouble for me, so. Why worry, you know? I can get around so much quicker now. Um, let's give my guy a second to recover. I'm going to use the flashlight more, although it's not exactly a huge help. Uh, yeah, flashlight is no longer working. See, that right there. That's what I was talking about in the first one. Oh, it's just a graphical bug. That's all it is. But, um, it looks like the really, really, really obnoxious, um, you know, restart because of teleportation bullshit is still sticking with us. So, I guess we're just going to have to fight it. I may have to do a bunch of jump cuts. Let's hope that it doesn't teleport us too much and we can, you know, actually get up this mountain. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Where are we? Where are we?
Yep. I love this game so much. That's a lie. I am hating this right here. I don't like making the same walk ten times. I almost forgot to start my timer. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That chick's not even up here anymore. Oh, you've gotta be kidding. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Let's give it a good old fashioned flipping the bird moment. It teleported me even further back that time than it did the first time. Which doesn't make any sense. I teleport random distances at random times. And I really fucking hate it. Come on, don't you dare fucking teleport me. No more Slendy. No more Slendy Slend. And that headless bitch is totally missing now. Not that I mind. why the headless bitch isn't there, but we will just keep looking around for notes and anything else we can find. Fucking Slendy trying to fuck me up. Are you shitting me? It took me all the way down. All the way. Do I actually... No, because I was teleporting at super random times. Before. Like, Slenderman wasn't even near me. Teleporting. the fact that Slendy tried to get us while we were looking at our manual. That was the best. Alright, so we got another note, which puts us at 5 of the 10. Um, I'm going to look first, and then I'll read that out loud in case you weren't able to hear it. Because that was another thing that I noticed while I was doing all the uh, editing was that the audio of the, the, I'm guessing, developer reading the note in character was super quiet. So, batteries. It literally only took me back like 10 steps that time. Like this just, actually no, I lied. It took me back one full, like level. 
but that's still like nothing compared to how it was the first two times? I think it was two times that it did that shit to me. At least in this playthrough. We all saw how the last one ended. <laughs> I could not take that anymore. It was infuriating. Nothing? Nothing at all. Alright, I'm gonna read this now. Um, Mark Slender has escaped the premises. Raise the alarm. I want all available personnel out there looking for him. Find him now. Capture slash kill order is in effect. Oh, you fucker. Burn him in this damn building. Um, let's check up here. Shall we? Now I have to say, I did watch two episodes of Markiplier, um, but he didn't get nearly as far as I already was by the time that I watched this. Like, he hadn't been to the bunker, he hadn't done anything. Um, he had come up here, and he did find an axe in this area. So, I'm really curious why I'm not finding an axe at all. Um, it seems not good because I'm pretty sure I need an axe for, for something. Holy cow, this is really high up. At the end of this, I'm going to definitely give it, like, a review review. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll eventually reach the top. Maybe. Yeah, finally. Ooh, a note. We're going to save first. Create that bad boy. All right. Come on. Also, stop it. Jeez. Give me the note. Dude, you've got to be kidding. Um, is there any way I can pick this up? Because it says E to pick up. Then it doesn't let me pick it up. Come on. We're gonna have to do a cut jump, because I have to be able to pick this up. Slender has escaped the area. We've looked everywhere and cannot find him. Personally, I don't believe that he is still alive. He is no longer a concern. Mark Slender is as good as dead. Mark Slender case closed. Visitor Mark Slender has escaped the area. We've looked everywhere and cannot find him. Personally, I don't believe that he is still alive. He escaped from the facility just before the adaptation process was complete. His face is completely burned with no eyes, ears, or mouth. He is no longer a concern. Mark Slender is as good as dead. Mark Slender, Slender case closed. Now I'm going to save so that I don't have to reload just to... Um, just to pick that up again. Because that was kind of a problem. You know, if, if I can't pick up a page... 
So now we've got six of the ten. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I did restart that, right? Yes, I did. Okay. We've only been going for about ten minutes. I'm trying to keep track of it, because I, I want us all to be on the same page together. Um, I may in the future save any, you know, stuff like my, go to my Twitch channel. I might save that for the end so that you guys don't have to go through it just to get to the video because I want you guys to have a good time. So, you know, definitely leave suggestions if you have any. Um, I'm always more than happy to uh, take suggestions. Switch over to this bad boy since we're out of out of batteries. I gotta take one more look. I've got to. Markiplier found an axe. I need an axe too. I'm really hoping that it's not too dark for you guys right now. Um, the hell, dude? Why do I not get an axe? Markiplier got an axe. So I will be live streaming way more often. Um, the hell? I'm pretty sure Markiplier found his axe right here. Did they like randomize it or something? Because I would think that I would find something up here that was beneficial to me progressing because oh Slimmy go away we're currently right here at the very 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 end I like the super duper end oh hell no I almost jumped to my death. That gave me cold sweats. Almost jumping to my death like an idiot. Like an idiot. Care myself for the very first time. Actually, it's the second. But you son of a bitch. What the hell? What in the hell? I know I'm supposed to get an axe here. I know I am. I mean, I know that there's randomness to the notes, but the axe and the crowbar should be in the same spot. Should be. I feel like there's a big fat glitch. Damn it. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna check and see if this is a known glitch, because if it is a known glitch, then I'm gonna have to restart the whole thing, play through it myself, and then, um, after that, pick back up here with the axe. So, I'll be right back. Alright, this is interesting because I 
exited the game, I went, I searched some message boards to see if this was a glitch that people knew of. Um, while I was looking, someone said the axe is actually an unnecessary part. The crowbar will get you into any spot that the axe gets you into, it just takes more wax. So, we're going to try that. We're going to go to a shed um, down at the bottom of the mountain. But, that right there is interesting. There is another report where I just picked up the other one. Pick it, pick it up. Pick it, pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Fine, screw it. Screw it. We're out of here. We're out of here. Okay, good, I did restart it. We're out of here, we're out of here, we're out of here. We're going, and we're trying this out. This is... Such a piece of shit. This game is not doing so well. Um, it's, it's literally keeping me from picking up stuff at this point. How many out of ten is this? Seven out of ten report. Can't pick it up. I know I haven't picked one up from this location yet, though. So, this is just glitchy as shit. Now we're gonna pick back up at the bottom. Whoa! Another one? What the fuck, dude? We all heard my guy pick it up. Are there more? Is there one? Yep. Once again, the sound, but it doesn't actually pick it up, it doesn't start doing the... whatever. These guys really need to come back and fix a few bugs. Because I want to see all ten of those ooh, batteries. I want to see all ten of those. I want to know exactly what happened with Mark. That's interesting. It's like I'm now... It did it again. Motherfucker. 7 of 10. Our personal... Our personnel complains about headaches, temporary blindness, and feeling sick. In some cases, we have noticed a complete catatonic state. Those in a uh, those in a catatonic state were often found in dark rooms that were locked from the inside. Most of them were standing straight up, facing the wall. Sounds like Blair Witching. This game would make Sark proud. Um, Others were found uncons un unconspicuous, unconscious. Uh, we are in need of more medical personnel as well as psychiatrists. We'll never know what eight, nine, and ten say, but hey, look, another piece of paper that makes the sound but doesn't ever pick up. really curious if I have to get the axe to get out. Or if there's some other super fucking glitch that just fucks you. I feel like I got some super glitch. 
which would kind of explain a little bit, um, they were saying that the game puts a gate in your path so that you can't get up here until you hit certain objectives, which, you know, I did all these other objectives, going to the bunker, going to the green inn, I did all those things. So, I didn't even think about that. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh my fucking... Alright, let's try this fucking again. Because the last one was fucking bullshit. So, we... I just got hit by some insane glitch where I got up the mountain all the way. I got all the way up the tower. I went everywhere up the mountain. But then, whenever I came back to leave and come back down the mountain, um, it said that, uh, or it didn't say, it had a gate shut that the internet, whenever I was checking to see if I was part of a, or if I encountered some sort of glitch that was well known, um, that said that that gate would only be there if you haven't completed certain objectives. So... Oh... We're just skipping that bullshit. Fortunately, whenever I was looking up whether this glitch, uh, you know, was something that I would have to do a lot to get around, Someone said the axe is completely unnecessary. Um, you can get into here without the axe. So now I've got a new key. Alright. Nothing else? No batteries, no nothing? Alright. Looks like it's time to be on our way. I'm willing to bet this is green in front door. Alright, so let's rock. Oh, also, I've decided to say screw it, I'm tired of walking. The Slender Man hasn't been a challenge at all yet. Um, so. Why save my stamina for something that I may not ever actually need it for, you son of a bitch. Is there anything in the woods? I'm a lot less scared right now of... you know, accidentally getting killed because Oh, hey Slendy. Oh, you bastard. Knock it off. Are you shitting me? You saw that. That was a regular jump. Like, nothing extra just happened there. That's such fucking bullshit. I want to fucking kill them for ever thinking that it was a good idea to have you just get teleported back. Let's just save right now. Alright. Now, if I get teleported, I'm just exiting and reloading. Because, fuck that. Is there something in here? Is this an empty, tiled room? 
I feel like there should be something in here. Oh, don't look back. The fuck? Did, was... What the fuck? Are you fucking... <laughs> oh my gosh. I rubbed my eyes at the perfect moment to just open the mech up and be completely somewhere else. Although I do have to say that um, I heard that there was a gun, which it's worrying me a little bit that I don't have a gun. Because whenever I was reading about the the you know, glitch and all that, it was saying that, um, you could still get whatever. Dude, I need a gun. Like, the whole reason they said that you didn't need the axe is because you got a gun with, I think they said 24 rounds. Every time I open a door, I'm afraid I'm going to just get some fucking monster in my face. This is getting really, really annoying. Gun. 8137? We are gonna use the shit out of you. I want all available personnel out here looking for him. Find him now. Capture or kill, order is in effect. One way or another, bring him back to me. He cannot be allowed to escape this area. Oh wait, we want to save. Now we have a gun, things should be much better, fat fingering everything. I am sweating from anticipation that at any moment I could be thrown anywhere in the map. Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. I have a code. Was there a code over here? Let's go find out if there was a code. I feel like there may have been. There may have been. Freeze again. Alright, through the cave. Again. Where's our big statue friend? Doesn't this thing just look... You can go back to the first video. I looked right at this thing and it never mentioned picking it up. Never. No. Son of a bitch. 
Alright. We will. This would be a great time for you to teleport me backwards. But it's not going to do that. So, over here, we just had, you know, a bunker where we got a crowbar. Um, back by the car, there's just a typewriter. There's no, no code stuff. Um... back to the cave. Like, what the fuck, dude? Go away, Slendy. Slendy got us for once. So, just not looking at him is not enough. You have to also not go near him. But, he actually did me a favor. Which is kind of what I was thinking. It's like, if he kills me, I go like all the way back to the car so might as well plus now we know that you can't get close either you all you have to not look at him and not get close to him this is pretty good for a unity you know game but I feel like they really could have done a few things a little bit better like, it seems like there's a debug issue that they need to handle with just simply, like, whenever you hit E to activate an item, it ignores it? Also, I probably would have coded it so that if, um... Good. It only brought me back to here. I heard all those footsteps, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, I was teleported. I'm hearing a lot of footsteps. There's something that, like, runs up to you and teleports you. I'm convinced of it now. Because... I hear footsteps. I'll get teleported here in just a second. Three, two, one. I wasn't exact, but I was relatively close. There's something in the woods that runs up to you and I guess grabs you and teleports you. But I have no idea how to control when 
or how it appears. Like Slendy, I can avoid it. But this thing clearly just runs up to you, grabs you, and teleports you. Or is that what that's supposed to be? We're back at the bunker. I don't remember anything with a code here. So... Oh my gosh! Shit! I actually jumped there. <laughs> oh man, I didn't think Slindy was gonna be right there. He scared the shit out of me. Let's try and get out of this wood area. Silos? Silos? Oh my gosh, are you serious? I was like at a gate and everything. I heard no footsteps, so that's kind of blowing my theory of the footsteps right out of the water at this point. I wonder if I can shoot Slendy. Probably not. I'm getting teleported. Oh great, where the fuck am I? No! Motherfucker. Alright. I think I might roll all of this into one, because it's about 40 minutes, possibly, after all the cutting down. It might be 30. So, I'm gonna call it, um, I'm gonna pick this up whenever I uh, we're gonna pick this up whenever I figure out where this code goes so thanks for watching please tune in next time uh, part 5 will I don't know what I had to try it um, so I'll see you guys next time and have a nice day